Ryan it here. Today we're going to be trying to get the addressable LEDs to work on our pinball machine here. So I bought this PAL board here from Oak Micros a while ago. Uh, I don't see any reason why it shouldn't work. So we're going to try and figure this out. It's a little involved, so hopefully I can get it to work. Um, I've been putting it off, so today we're going to we're going to do it. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, so this is our general layout, right? We got our matrix here, which I think this is gonna work. I think they go like this. So, I mean, it's not doing this to where, you know, it'd be complicated to add these side ones on. So I think we should be able to get away with that. We got our strips, which we're gonna have to cut because they're not long enough. More or less, I couldn't get my router to go any closer there. I should have done it before I assembled the cabinet. That's a good tip. <laughs> Route your, your thing in first. All right, and then I got those for the for the speakers. I have another set of them. The rings that I ordered, I was thinking about putting them on the front of there, but eh, we can always add that later on the fans. All right, so we got our our PAL board from Oak Micros here. The problem is it's got this oddball USB thing on it, which I guess is USB-B, and the only USB-B cord I have is this one that is a charger for something. Um, so I'm going to see if I can find a new one that's long enough. But in the meantime, I got these USB extenders that are for arcades like this, so hopefully I can chain them together, make that work. And then I also 3D printed Whole bunch of these little strips so those slide in there and then that fits in there so it holds it straight and then it gives you something good to adhere it to and then somewhere in this pile of crap is some, some tape which i have to cut in half to fit because i couldn't find any regular size so and then i can't find my damn glue gun so hopefully lunchbox knows where that is when she gets back from wherever she is, launch, I guess. So they don't fit as good as Major Frenchies did, like right around the outside, but they'll look pretty good. Get them back in there, find my glue gun, sitting pretty. All right, let's keep rolling here. Oh, and I gotta figure out how I'm gonna mount these back there. Yeah, we'll get it figured out. All right, so I got my little plastic strips here that a dude on Discord uh, posted so I printed those like I said put my strips in them got my tape on here I put these little Molex connectors on the power side so what I'm going to do is take these that came with them and see if I can pull out the power cables because these just solder together in here so all that's going to this is data and so that these aren't hot, you know. So I'm gonna put these in here and we'll work on the rest. All right, so we got the wires here and you can see the outline that the grill left. And then the speaker has a little lip, maybe a 16th or an eighth of an inch around the outside or on the inside, I guess. So I gotta get the wires through here. So what we did was we cut this little slot. Sorry. So that they sit down and they don't interfere with anything. So that's how we're gonna do that. So to cut this, you find the dullest, oldest hacksaw blade that you can find. You take it out of the hacksaw and you do it with your fingers because that's how we roll here. And then you have this mess. Your wife's not here, so you go like this. See? That's someone else's problem. So we're gonna take that side apart and do it there. And then if we can find a damn glue gun or something, we'll put them back together. All right, we got everything mounted. We did manage to mess up that fan that I just noticed when I pushed go, so we'll have to see what I did there. Um, 
Oh, I see what it is. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Damn wires, anyway. Alright, so we got these mounted. As I said, I didn't want to put that in there until I figured out if it's going to work. But I made this board wherever it is to fit here. And I'll mount them to it. If I'm not such a lazy, impatient bastard, I'll paint it one of these days. But for right now, we're going with plain wood. And these are mounted. When they're lit up, you cannot see the shoddy glue work. So, so the teensy or whatever it's called, pal board. You got your your five volts, your round, and then you can use one or all of these. So this is for the the right strip, the left left strip, uh, backboard, and rings. So if we go back here, so the input comes in, in through here, goes in the output, and goes over to this other one. So I made these fancy connectors and just solder them. It'd probably take about half the time. <laughs> anyway, so if we take this, we can do a test. Now, it only, the test only lasts the first 144 in any series, so it'll just be like that part of that. So you're going to unplug it, push the button, plug it back in. So. so it works. I'm thinking that our board is going to work out right. So it's going like this, I hope. Anyway, that's the end of the test. So I do have to mount them, we'll plug them in, see if this cord that is a charger for my uh, WorkTunes headphones is gonna work. I don't know if it's a full USB cord or if it just is for power for charging. So we'll give it a go and see what happens because Walmart did not have it. Well, at least that worked. Although, I'm not sure what the hell happened to everything else. So, I'll have to play around for a little bit. That is bright as shit. It messed up some of the emulators. The future pinball stuff won't work at all. It'll turn on, but the play field will be like way up there for some reason. I don't know. And this one wasn't working until I turned the computer off, turned it back on again three hours later, and it just started working. Anyway, I don't know if that's normal, but that doesn't ever really go with me. So if we start again. You get the idea. It's pretty slick. I'm glad it decided it was gonna work after all that. Now if I can figure out the other one, we'll be good. So who knows? Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Keep it real.